Hello beautiful world! Today we are going to make some wonderful gluten-free pasta with some wonderful vegan ground beef and some awesome potatoes. And it's going to be absolutely delicious because, well, I'm delicious. <laughs> First you add your water to your pot. Add your oil as well and you let it boil for a little bit. Then you add your pink Himalayan salt and then your wonderful gluten-free pasta or noodles or whatever you like. You also add any other spices before adding your noodles like this garlic over here and this nutritional yeast for some cheesy flavor for your pasta. You add it before you add the noodles. I don't suggest adding all of the noodles all at once unless you're making food for a lot of people. Also you're going to add the ground beef to this pot so you don't want to uh, completely fill the pot with noodles just yet. So you cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the noodles get soft and while you're letting this cook you peel your potatoes. Uh, what you can see here is actually two potatoes total and you peel the potatoes and you can choose to bake the potatoes whole or slice them up in fries uh, or slice them up the way I did in kind of a chip kind of way. And then once the noodles are soft enough then you add the vegan ground beef. I suggest adding about only half of the package, about this much, this much, all of this, because adding the whole thing first of all would not fit in this and second of all uh, half of this package is, is plenty for these noodles. So after you have added the ground beef be sure to mix it with a spoon or fork or, or whatever utensil of your choosing and uh, mix the ground beef around with the noodles and just let it cook for another five to ten minutes and then it's ready. You can eat it as a soup with the water in it or you can choose to drain the water and just have the pasta by itself. I've decided to add some shredded beets and some manzanilla olives as well as some coconut oil to the wonderful bowl that my pasta and my beautiful potatoes will be in. And when you are preparing your potatoes, you can either fry them in a skillet you can bake them in the oven like I am doing. Just cook them until they are ready. I mean, you can continue to cook them until they are a bit crispy, which is the way I like it. And, uh, and then it'll be completely ready for your entire beautiful meal. Or you can choose to just cook it until the potatoes are soft and not starchy anymore. You can also choose to add your potato slices or wedges to the sauce created by what you put for the pasta after you have removed the pasta so that your potatoes have more flavor. I mean you can always choose to continue baking your potato slices or wedges, whatever you chose, in the oven, uh, but this is just my personal choice to add them to the, I guess, sauce that was created by the pasta. Just so it has more flavor and it adds more flavor to the meal. And now it just looks like there's potatoes and gravy on my noodles. It actually looks so good. I didn't even drain out the water because it was more just like a thick sauce. So I just kept it in with the meal. And this is what it looks like after you mix it all together. It looks absolutely divine. Now let's see how it tastes. Oh my god, wow. I definitely did a good job on this one. So good. 
be sure to try it at home. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not sure. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much.